Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel where I review a lot of gear. I teach you guitar lessons. I help you to sound the best that you can, be it production or mixing or anything above. If it is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me one of these and to hit that bell notification. It really, really does help me out a lot. Wow, English is hard. All right, so what are we doing today? Today we are reviewing the one and only Pedal Pimps Nibiru version three. Version three, what is Pedal Pimps? What is the Nibiru and why is it version three? So who are Pedal Pimps? Pedal Pimps are, according to their Instagram, just a couple of guys making guitar pedals. These guys are awesome at what they do. Everything is Filipino made, Filipino designed. They have some really, really interesting stuff. And this one is their high gain guitar pedal, which as it was described to me, has the topology of a Soldano, which I think is really, really cool considering that recently, you know, the Neural DSP Soldano got released. So there's a lot of love for that sound right now. And I do think that the Nibiru nails that sound. But a little bit more about what this is. So to quote from uh, the Instagram post, crunchy modern metal to tasty classic metal, easily dial in your preferred tone with the very versatile EQ. Go from chewy low gain tones to searing high gain distortion and tame the noise using a suppressor for tight chugs. Plug straight into a PA system with the built-in cab simulator. This is one of the most versatile distortion pedals you will ever own. And I can confirm this thing is actually pretty, pretty versatile. And with my demo, I wanted to showcase a lot of different ways uh, that it could be used. What I did is that I have my Quilter Pro Block, which is sitting on my desk, and I have my cabinet elsewhere. It is being recorded by an SM57 and an Aston Stealth directly into my Universal Audio Apollo. And then I have it going in front of the amp. I have it going in the effects loop so that it is acting as a preamp. I have it going in front of a amp simulator. I am using my Line 6 Helix. I believe I'm using the archetype model as the clean sound. And I switch in between each one, as you can see in the video, so that you get to hear the differences between what it would sound like in front of the amp, in the effects loop, uh, as a cab simulator, and in front of an amp simulator.
So some really, really interesting things about this pedal. The reason why it is V3 is because it is a slightly different distortion topology, according to Jay over at Pedal Pimps. Um, the previous iteration of the Nibiru uses dip switches for like type um, and other extra EQ functions, but he made it so that all of those are built into the three band EQ, which has, as you could have heard, a very, very wide sweep. The gain, it is, the gain is really, really chewy. It still does remain tight. It doesn't have that flubbiness that something similar to a, a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier has. It is a lot tighter, especially in the low end. The suppressor is a really, really nice feature, actually. Whether you're gonna use it for rhythm chugging or for just overall noise, you know, reduction. During the solos on my demo, I only use this, actually. Uh, I did a little bit of some mixing, but I'll show you exactly what I did, and you get to hear all of the different isolated tracks. I used my 8-string on this one, and just like any gent player would, I put an overdrive in front of this before it went into the amp, just to kind of show you how amp-like it feels. So, I was using a Horizon Devices Precision Drive with the gate, um, just for that chug chug. Say it with me kids, chug chug. And also to top it off, I wanted to see what it sounded like with different types of guitars. So the guitars that I used were my Elegy Custom Telecaster with bare knuckle pickups. Then I have a J-Craft Strat that I used in front of it. Then I used my GOC 8-string. For the other solo, I used my Guthrie Govan Cervell. It's not the actual guitar, with Sir pickups. Where, as you saw, I wonderfully broke a string. This is the first time I've broken a string for a video, but I love the solo that I made, so it stayed in. So this guitar pedal definitely is one of the best sounding distortion pedals that I have heard in a long time. And the fact that it is Filipino made, Filipino designed, is a lot better. The guys over at Pedal Pimps did a fantastic job with this guitar pedal. And you can order one directly from them. Pedal Pimps, just search them up on, on Facebook, on Instagram, send them a message, tell them I sent you. This goes for, I believe, 5,000 pesos. So make sure to pick one up today if you want some of that awesome, awesome Soldano-y goodness in a box. 
honestly, you can't go wrong with this thing. It's really, really awesome. Thank you for watching. And make sure to follow Pedal Pimps. Make sure to follow me on all of our various social media platforms. I'm Sergio. Thank you again. Peace.